Hello, so this is a very quick tutorial on Blender Basics and in this we are going to create a very simple fish model. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the cube. Now I'm shocked, I'm not going to delete it, I'm going to use this cube. So I'm going to just turn on sticky keys, not sticky keys, screencast keys. Uh, so, so that you can see exactly what it is that I am pressing. Okay, I didn't go quite as big as I would like. So if I just very quickly go into edit mode, so I'm going to press the tab button. I'm going to come up here, I don't want the vertices or the lines, I want the face. So if I just click on this face, that is our front. So I'm coming into the side view by pressing 3, E to extrude, S to scale. I'm just going to come to the perspective view so I can see what's happening. That'll do. I'm just going to use our scale tool to sort of... Okay, how do I want it? Yeah, that'll do. Again, there's no, there's no hard and fast rules for this. It's just whatever you think is appropriate. I'm just bringing that down a little bit. I'm going to come back to this rear face, back to the side view. E to extrude, S to scale a little bit, I think that'll do, yeah, I'm just going to use our normal scale tool, I could use more shortcut keys but I'm just trying to use the icons as well, uh, back into the side view, I'm going to E to extrude again, uh, S to scale, but I'm going to now make it really thin, okay, so we've now got what I think is a very basic fish shape, so the next bit, if I just shift click on the side, shift click on the other side, I can now press I, to insert and this is going to give me a point to make the fin so I'm just going to use the move tool to bring that down a little bit maybe a little bit forwards I could just scale it a little bit to make it a little bit wider and now if I press alt and E this comes up with extrude face along normals so as I extrude this oh, wrong direction it's brought it out on both sides in the right place so now I'm going to shrink these down I'm going to move these backwards a little bit so I've now got some little fins. I'm going to do the same on the top as well. I'm going to click on the top face, I to inset. Uh, I'm going to scale that in a little bit, uh, E to extrude. I'm going to scale that down quite a bit, move that backwards a little bit, and I have now got a sort of a, a little bit of a fish there. Okay, so what can we do from this little bit? Um, we could start to shrink this down a bit. I could now press tab to come out of edit mode. I could scale it to make a thin fish. I could scale it to make a long fish. So I could do a whole bunch of different types. I'm going to keep this one for now. Um, so the next bit I can do is if I could change the tail. Mm, yeah, I'll keep the tail for that for the moment. If I click on the marble, I can click on to our base color and I can play about with some different images. So for example, I could just give it a checkerboard tile. Now we can't see it because I need to come up here and there we go, I've got a chessboard looking fish. I could change it to give it a brick texture. I could change it to, what's the other one I quite liked earlier? Not that one. I quite like the magic texture earlier. But have a little play about, make a bunch of different fish, different textures. Now the other thing I can do, I'll just come back off that for the moment so we can see the plane shape, is if I click on the spanner, modifier, subdivision surface, I can make the fish a little bit round. Now the original polygons we've got are still there, so the tail's lost a bit of definition. So if I press tab, I can come into this mode, I can click on the back face again, side view, and I could just go maybe E to extrude again. But this time I'm gonna right click and say subdivide, because now I can zoom right in, just using the wheel mouse, and we we'll select the line tool just to grab those two. And I could tuck this in a bit now to give its tail a little bit of definition. And I could grab the same point at the top. Um, so I'm going to press the vertices tool. I'm just clicking outside it so I deselect everything. I'm going to use uh, the box tool, the box selection tool, to select those. And I could just pull those out a little bit more. So I've now got probably a slightly disproportional um, tail. But there we go. I can sort of have a little play about and press tab. It goes back to the curved view. So obviously what I'd like to see from you is have a go at making your own fish um, and then in the next tutorial we'll look at a very simple rig so that we can animate it and make it swim off wait a minute i forgot something this fish looks a little um blank at the moment um, so what we can also do is we can just click on our fish i can right click and say shade smooth um, because that stops it from looking quite as squarey but what I really want is to make it more cartoony. So I'm going to just do one more little bit. I'm going to press Shift and A. And that lets me add a sphere. So I'm just going to come to the front view. I'm going to move that up a little bit. About, so I can see with the dot in the middle. I'm going to scale it right down. 
Oh, I don't think I like where that is now. I'm going to bring that forwards. I'm going to make a very cartoony style eye. I'll worry about the positioning in a minute. Okay, so um, now I'm going to worry about it now. I'm going to move that down a little bit, move that out a little bit. Is that, is that okay? Maybe not. We'll see how it looks like in a minute. Um, so that's uh, going to be my, my main eyeball a little bit. Um, I'm going to give it a colour. Now to see the colours, I'm just going to click back up here. So going back to our magic colour. I might actually just change that for a moment. Um, I might change that from magic to... I used it earlier. I had a little play of wave text that was interesting. It looks like kind of a zebrafish now. Um, so I'm going to use the eyeball. I'm going to press new. So I'm on this little marble. I'm going to press new. Um, let's delete that. You saw new color. Yep. Base color. Yes, I want this to be white. I'm then going to duplicate this. So I've got to click the sphere. Shift and D to duplicate. Pull this forward a little bit. Don't show. I can't see it. That's not where I want it to be. Like that will do. Scale that down. Um, I'm going to give this a new material, so delete the old one. New. Uh, I should really name these, by the way. Um, if you want to put these into a game, it's really useful for them to be, for, for, to be named. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this back into the eyeball itself. When it comes to top view, you can see what I'm doing. Grab that. Bring that down a little bit so it's in the middle. Uh, I'm just going to squish it a bit. Okay, so I've now got a bit of an eyeball, and I'm now just going to shift click both of them. So I've shift clicked the eyeball, so I'm going to come into the top view, press shift and D to duplicate. Oops, I just didn't move me to move that when I did. And I can just move it across to approximately the same point. I'm not going to worry too much about it, it's not perfect, because I'm probably going to delete this shortly anyway. So I've now got a bit of a cartoon fish with some eyes. So again, please feel free, go and make a, fi go and make a fish, duplicate it, make some changes. Okay, I look forward to seeing your results.